All right, fellas, I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, I saw a video uh, today, uh, you guys have probably seen it, by uh, Louis Marco, uh, talking about Kai Green being the only one that can challenge Phil Heath uh, for the Olympia crown. Um, I have to kind of disagree with that. Um, number one, Kai had three chances to do it. Uh, couldn't get it done. Um, three strikes, you're out kind of thing. I like Kai Green. I think he's a great bodybuilder. He's a freak. Uh, I just don't think uh, Kai is uh, ever, if they're both that in peak condition, I don't think Kai can beat Phil Heath. Um, I don't know if that's politics uh, or what. You know, if Kai's got some stuff in his past, you know, that he's done. Uh, could be anything from that to his hair. Who the hell knows? But, uh, Kai's definitely a freak. He's definitely, uh, you know, right up there uh, with the best bodybuilders in the world. But he had three chances to do it, you know, and, he, and Phil was probably off. Uh, one or two of those times so uh you know he couldn't get the job done then so i'd have to disagree on the proclamation that uh he's the only one that can take out phil heath i think this year in particular it's going to be a challenge for phil unless he comes in peak condition uh again though i mean the other guys would have to as well so i mean that you know that's a big f so uh it's 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 hard to say um you know uh, i to me, uh, Kai Green's shape, just something about it, and he just doesn't flow uh, like Phil Heath does. Now, I'm not a Phil Heath nut hugger by any means. I'm just saying that, you know, Kai has enough to beat a lot, most guys out there, definitely. Uh, but he, he kind of is, I don't know, something about his physique, to me in particular, maybe to the judges, just doesn't flow. Uh, well enough to beat Phil Heath uh, as far as like the full muscle bellies uh, you know I don't know it's just it's all individual perspective but you know to say that he's the only guy that can take out Phil Heath uh, right now in particular I think is a false statement um, absolutely though I mean if he came into shape uh, Kai Green came in shape Phil you know wasn't in shape or maybe he was in shape who knows but uh, you know, I'm just thinking he had three chances to do it. I mean, I think he could have gotten it done. You know, if you look back at the history of guys that were on the Olympia coattails, uh, you know, they, they, the only way they won is if the, if the champ retired. Uh, so, you know, I don't see him beating Phil Heath in the Olympia. If he even competes in another Olympia, who knows, but, uh, you know, um, I, you know, like I said, I, I think Phil is every year is getting more vulnerable, though. So, you know, who knows? But, um, you know, it could be politics with, with Kai Green. I mean, a lot of people think it is. I mean, I, you know, he might have a more likable personality than Phil Heath. I, you know, I get that. I, I don't really follow any, either one of these guys too closely, but I do think, you know, Kai kind of bears more of his himself to people you know when they ask questions he's not you know doesn't come off as arrogant that kind of thing uh so people root for him and you know i root for him too you know the latest thing about the you know the abuse sexual abuse thing that's that's a bad deal i mean that sucks you know but uh sometimes you know that's just the way it goes and, and also you know kai if i'm not mistaken has had some trouble with his stomach in the Olympia too so you know it's just one of those things that but saying that he's the only guy that can beat Phil Heath right now I, I think that's just not true I think that's a bogus statement uh but you know obviously Louis Marco knows his shit so you know we'll go with that uh it is what it is